Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall look at some more examples related to applications of decimal numbers. Let's take a practical example here. Let's say we, you have a balance, you have a checking account in a bank, and you have a balance in your checking account uh, equal to $450.50. You made, there are two transactions which happened in your checking account. You made a deposit of $210.75 on a particular day and then on another day you wrote out a check for $55.75 from your checking account. We want to find out what is the balance in your checking account. What is the balance in your checking account? As you can see here all of these numbers have are decimal numbers. We want to be able to read the problem in a uh, read the problem correctly and then make sure that when we make a deposit, we add the, add, the, add the amount to the current balance. And when we write out a check, we are, the money is going out of our checking account. So that, that is going to be a subtraction related thing. So this problem, this example is, a, is an example of addition and subtraction of, fra, uh, of decimal numbers. So let us see how we can solve this example. So step number one, step one, the current balance, let's write this, current balance is equal to $450.50. We deposited, we deposited, that means we're going to add to this current balance we deposited $210.75 and then we wrote out a check that means we are withdrawing withdrawing means we are subtracting so that is going to be we are withdrawing $55.75 so this is the way we want to process this information and once we have this information processed we want to be able to simplify that so therefore in step number two, we're going to say $450.50 was our current balance. We have deposited $210.75, so we write it that way. And then we withdrew some amount to pay a utility bill maybe. And therefore, when we withdraw, we are subtracting. So we subtract 55.75 from that. So how do we simplify this? We're going to simplify this as follows. We take um, step number three. We'll write this one as simplify. And how do we simplify? We take the two positive numbers, add them, and then we subtract. So 450.50 plus 210.75. So we'll add these two numbers. And then once we get uh, once we get the answer, we will subtract fifty-five dollars and seventy-five cents from that. So zero plus five is five. Five plus seven is twelve. We carry the one and then write the two here. One plus zero is one. Five plus one is six. Four plus two is six. So when we add four hundred and fifty dollars. 450.5 to 210.75, we got a value of $661.25. So now we're going to perform the second step, and the second step is we take 661.25 and subtract 55.75 from that. So therefore, how do we perform this? So 10, 5, and 5, they are the same, um, uh, they, are, uh, they are in the same place value. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Then this, this number here, 12, uh, is 2 is less than 7, so we're going to borrow from here. This becomes 0, and this becomes, uh, this becomes 12. 2 plus 10 is 12. 12 minus 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's going to be... Uh, equal to equal to 5. 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. 
then 0 is less than 5, so we go to borrow from here. So this becomes 5, and this becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, and then 5 minus 5 is equal to 0, and then we did not we need not have to borrow anything from here, therefore that remains as 6. So we place the decimal point right there. So the, the final answer is 605.5, or the balance, the final balance what we have, or let me write this one as the new balance, the new balance is equal to $605.50. What did we do here? If we were to recap, we had $450.50 $450 in our checking account. That was our current balance. We deposited $210.75. We add those two numbers. Depositing means addition. And then we wrote out a check. That means we withdraw some money from our checking account. So therefore, that withdrawing means subtraction. So we subtract $55.75. So we added the two positive numbers and then subtracted the, the neg negative number from, from uh, the numbers which we have. Therefore, we came up with a new balance in our checking account as equal to $605.50. This is the way we want to be able to process um, information uh, which this is a uh, real-world application problem. So therefore, we, want, we need to be able to understand these types of situations and then be able to apply simple concepts. This is addition-subtraction concepts. So we have applied addition-subtraction concepts in our, uh, in our everyday situation. In my next presentation, we shall look at some more application-related problems related to decimals.